part you've you'd have created an app already up here and here's one I've already created and then within here you I'm not I don't know if you'll need to put on all these details um, I don't know but what you will need to do is you will need to up request upload access that's a request that goes to Vimeo and then they approve your uh, upload permission and for me that took three days and then the token you need to generate is down here and you're basically generating a personal access token so this means that when the API connects it will connect as you as your user and people will be using this token uh, in, in your app and authenticating to Vimeo as you so it's not the sort of OAuth 2 thing where people authenticate as themselves to Vimeo and they have an account in Vimeo and they upload this is kind of a, a use case where you want people to upload videos you know to, for your application and the settings you need is authenticated by you private edit upload these are the minimum ones required just to do uploading you don't need these and then you go generate and this token that's generated here uh, you can is you need to keep very secret because anyone with that token can upload videos so um, you can obviously delete it and create new ones and effectively you're you know creating a new secret password uh, in the plugin that is kept secret um, by design so bubble plugins can hide these sorts of credentials and keep them secretly but this is what you need to supply to put into the um, plugin uh, you don't need to worry about all of these that's it